What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we will actually be doing a highway patrol on LSPDFR N5. And we'll be doing the highway patrol out here in Blaine County. You guys may remember my previous video where I did my first LSPDFR 5M patrol. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But anyways, I am very, very excited about this patrol. I really enjoy doing highway patrol. And that car really cut that close right there. Man, that was bad. That was almost bad. He almost got slammed by that semi truck. Man, people are not stopping. Like again, that car is not yielding for traffic. I'm kind of thinking about pulling somebody over for it. I think we're gonna let him slide this time. But that not yielding the traffic thing really gets to me. Actually, I think we're gonna sit right here and run radar down. Well, I wanted to sit right here and run radar, but of course that car ended up blocking him. So we're gonna do the next best thing, and we're just gonna pull off to the right up here behind these bushes. It's a really good spot for catching speeders. Again, the speed limit is 70. People typically do fly through here. We're gonna try and turn it this way. Oh, that was going 83. I saw it. Let's see if we can catch him. A little Prius. I didn't even think those Priuses could go 83 miles an hour. He is hauling butt. Look at him. There he goes. We finally got him. Oh, and he slammed on his brakes. I did not mean to do that. He ended up hitting the guardrail there. I didn't mean to make him do that but we needed to get him off the highway. So let's go ahead and run a plate check. Looks like everything came back fine on him. Hey there, how's it going my man? Is there any reason why you were out there speeding? Didn't realize you were going that fast. Yeah, you are going pretty fast there. I mean, you're going about 13 over. Let me go ahead and have your driver's license and registration. All right, hang tight for me. We're gonna have dispatch check his license. All right, and everything came back fine for him. So we're actually just gonna let him off with a warning. Listen man, I'm gonna need you to just slow it down for me, all right? Drive safe. We got 72, 73. We're gonna follow. <clears throat> we're gonna follow that G wagon. He was fastly speeding up. He's going 73, 74. Oh, and we got him. Invalid registration. Invalid. So we're gonna go ahead and light him up. Of course, he stops. We're gonna have to get him to go over. Trevor, I need you to pull off the road just a little bit more, please. Good, right there. Thank you. All right. Let's see how this guy goes. I'm expecting him to run. Oh, nervous, sweating. You noticed. The strong scent of drugs. Strong scent of drugs. Hey man, how's it going? Can I have a driver's license? Proof of ID. So we got a Mr. Colin Hale. The reason why I stopped you is your tags are expired. Hey, I'm also getting a scent of some narcotics. Have you done any drugs today? Not that you remember. Is there any drugs in the vehicle? I'm noticing a strong smell of narcotics coming from your scar. Oh, you paid enough for it. Do me a favor, I need you to go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. While I got you out here, I'm going to go ahead and dispatch run your license. We'll do a license check on you. Looks like everything came back fine for that. Alright, we're going to go ahead and do a drug test. There we go, and he tested positive for meth and marijuana, so he is driving under the influence. So let's go ahead and see if he's got any alcohol on him while we're at it. He is not. Well, fortunately, sir, I will be arresting you. You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say you can and will be held against you in the court of law. You are under arrest for driving a vehicle under the influence. Do you have anything on you? I'm going to search you real quick. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke me, stick me, cut me, harm me, cause me any harm, or cause yourself any harm? All right, I'm going to check your vehicle. A drone in his car. And I think for this scenario, we're actually going to call... We're going to call a prisoner transport for this guy. So I can continue the rest of the paperwork. All right, we looked him up, Mr. Colin Hill. And there's a lot of paperwork involved with arresting somebody, especially for a DUI. So we're going to create a citation for him driving under the influence. And then we're going to create an arrest report. There we go. Driving under the influence. We're going to check that off because he did drive under the in He was driving under the influence. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. And that amount was $500. So only $500 ticket for that. And then we're actually going to create an arrest report. We type his name in. Colin Hill. DUI. This will be his first offense because he has not done it before. And it's going to be under a controlled substance DUI narcotics. Looks like we got a huge car accident happen somewhere. So we can go ahead and check that off. This is very detailed. As you guys can see, we did have to even put the street address in there. We're on the Route 13 or the Sonora Highway. But Route 13. Ah, and I did not see all this extra. And then you have to scroll down here, date of the arrest, and make sure we date it. Time of the arrest. It was about 8. And there we go. We got it sent off. As I was saying, we were gonna catch some we were gonna catch some people out driving under the influence. I thought it was gonna happen mainly at night, but as you guys saw, it actually happened during the day. Right in the middle of broad daylight, the guy was under the influence of meth and cocaine driving. You guys can see over on the left, I am getting my LPR it is flagging a couple of different vehicles. Some of those aren't really any high priority of mine. 
expired registration, I probably would, but I'm really looking for some fast speeders now. Or a stolen vehicle. Looks like most of them are driving kind of slow since they're coming around that. But then they're speeding up once they make that curve. And I'd say we go ahead and pull down here just a little bit further and maybe run radar facing back that way right here to the right. Oh, and this is a really good spot here. And I'd say now at this point we're going to probably make a quick little U turn and we will head back down the opposite side on our way back to Sandy Shores. Oh, and this guy is. Let's see if it was just a curve. He was hitting the line in that truck. Is it a beer truck? Maybe he's drinking too much beer while he's out driving. Yeah, it could have just been the curve. Looks like he's doing just fine now. Make sure he's not hitting the line too much. I mean, he is still on the line a little bit. I'll say we'll go ahead and head back to the police department, put this guy in custody and get him behind bars, and then we will head back out around town, maybe answer some calls. It's been a really quiet night so far. Go ahead and back this in. We'll, now let's ride around town here and see what we can come up with. Catch any bad guys, if we can see anything going on, any car thefts, any speeders, or catch anybody potential DUIs. So I did reach out to the mod creator. For those of you that don't know, I am playing LSPDFR in 5M on a 5M server. That guy, I thought he was going a little faster than that. I did reach out to the, the server creator, see if we can get some more stuff unlocked and see if I can have more capabilities to do things to help entertain you guys. Either way, I will be looking out for other servers to you and to have some fun with. And again, this is just 5M, or, and again, I am just on 5M here. These are the 5M servers. I do plan on using my own LSPDFR. I'm going to download it and play it, and we'll have a lot of fun then too as well. Right now, I'm just kind of taking the easy way. Okay, he's not going to yield to oncoming traffic. Oh, and it looks like he's going to run. Alright. And we got a runner already. Let's go ahead and get dispatched to run the license. Looks like we got a bike going to slow him down. He's more than likely going to get out and start running. We can approach him this way. Come on, get out. Alright, crap, I forgot. Yielded for the motorcyclist there. We are approaching another little city here. There's more than likely a car going to pull out in front of him. Let's see, we're about to have a crash. He did stop. We're about to go for the pit, but we are slow and there's a lot of traffic around. I don't want to possibly endanger anybody, of course. It's Blast through that stop sign as I gave him a little bit of a bump to get on through it. And we got traffic coming up. I think we're getting ready to go for the pit on this road. If I can get to him in time just before the other traffic. I tried to get out, but he did take off too quick. I'm probably going to end up having to shoot out his tires. We're approaching a lot of traffic, and we are about to reach the highway as well as the city. I'm going to try and spin him out and stop him from getting out there. He's definitely not afraid to do any kind of reckless driving. I'm try to spin him out again. Of course, we got to watch with the motorcyclist. Oh, that spin out didn't work. I'm not sure what that guy was doing. I almost want to chase after the other guy too, but we've been going after this guy for a very long time. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I do plan on doing a lot more of these on different servers and doing a lot different types of different types of patrols. This was just a quick little Sandy Shores patrol. I will be doing one in Los Santos next, as well as we're going to be doing some strictly highway patrol type stuff. We'll be using all different types of mods and different types of cars, and we'll be doing some like undercover stings and things like that. I think we're going to have a really good time, so I hope you like this video. Enjoy the rest of y'all's day.